88 gang. Let's go big, 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 let's go big. I got, ooh, have a car on the roof. I got, ooh, have a car on the roof. Let's go big, 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 let's go big. Conor McGregor says he's down to fight YouTube nerds like Jake Paul, Logan Paul, KSI, and more. What do you think about that, Tyron? Of course he is. He's chasing clouds just like them. Conor McGregor was just asked by Sneak Peek TV, their European outlet, about, you know, his fighting future. And they asked him specifically about getting into the, you know, the game of fighting guys like Jake Paul and KSI. This is what he said. Quote, yeah, you know, the YouTube nerds, he says. He says, I would consider them guys. He goes, if I was to pick out one of them, I would say KSI. He has a big name in the UK. He goes, the Pauls, that Tyson fight is a strange one to me. I hope Tyson takes his nose off. And then he says, I'm sure at some stage I'll end up fighting one of them. I'm sure at some stage, you know, we'll go through all of these guys. Tommy Fury called me out yesterday, and he beat Jake, and he fought KSI. So it's just like another little world, isn't it? So he says he'll never say no. He's not taking it off the table. He's talking trash to them, but then he's saying, I'll fight them. Tyron, what's your take on well, all one, this? For one, he's a liar, and that's why we call this new segment a cap full of cap. Because Conor McGregor has said no to me. He's been flown into the UFC offices to fight me before. He said no every single time. He can't call them nerds because that would make him a nerd when he fought Floyd Mayweather, right? Because to yep. the eyes of every viewer, they see it's a crossover. And MMA fighter should never be boxing against one of the greatest boxers of all times. Of course he calls out Tommy Fury. Because in my opinion, Tommy Fury is a lesser opponent. Though KSI didn't do a good job against him and he, he lost that fight. But KSI have a bigger reach. So you probably want to fight KSI because he has more clout, right? That's what they're chasing. And you look at the Jake Paul fight against Tommy Fury. He just looked drained like he did too much media and they fought at 3 in the morning. Everybody got a night where they don't feel like they was clicking. It didn't look like Jake Paul was clicking. Tommy didn't do any damage, do any hurt. So when you look at this, of course he wants to fight them. He wants the clout. Every time a fight is going on, no matter what organization, he always want to be in the midst of it. He's fighting referees. He walking around with sweaty armpits. And he literally wants to be in the midst every chance he gets. So my question is this, right? Let's say the, one of these fights do develop and he ends up sitting down. And, when, tell mean, me when his daddy, Dana, or, or Hunter is going to let him do it. He can't. He's on a UFC contract. He let him do it against Floyd because Dana was a fan of Floyd. I mean, rumor has it, Dana may have even carried bags into arenas for Floyd, you know what I mean, back in the day when he was coming up in the ranks. So at the end of the day, this is a question, seriously, because uh, we know that Dana has a good relationship with Logan Paul, right? And the relationship with Jake Paul is, is, is not great, but he has a pretty good relationship with Logan Paul. And if like there's a way to get Conor McGregor versus a Logan Paul, or if they could figure out a way to make this happen. But Conor McGregor didn't mention Logan Paul. He mentioned Jake Paul. He, uh, he said the ball, bros. I mean, to be honest, if Dana wanted to make that particular fight happen, it would have to be a co-promoted fight with UFC Boxer. And you don't want to get me into all of that. Because the way that the Conor fight even happened, take a look, a look at the Ali act. That's the only way that the fight happened. So let us let me pretend I have a magic wand and I make the magic okay. wand happen. And, and somehow this fight, you know, they, he gets the UFC's blessing and he can have these fights, right? Mm -hmm. Conor was a pretty good striker. He was a boxer before he was an MMA fighter. Do you think he beats these guys? Oh, uh, I mean, I don't know. Con Conor McGregor ain't never, he didn't show me that he had cardio yet. He always gasses right. in every fight. He always quits yep. in every fight that he gets in anniversary. No, I mean, sorry, when he gets into adversity, he always quits. Show me the fight that Conor McGregor blew your mind with him being cardiovascularly out of this world. It's always been fast stoppages. It's always been a lesser opponent, right? That's that's the only time. Say that he's gone like five rounds and... Not, and not gone like, five rounds, blowing your mind with his cardio in five rounds. You're right. But, uh, you know, he did go five rounds with Nate Diaz in, the, in their rematch and he won that fight. Yeah, Nate Diaz goes a slow pace. He goes the same snail pace the whole time. Now, granted, these guys are triathletes and they, these guys got endless cardio, but we're in an anaerobic sport. They don't yeah. get 10 rounds. If every fight was a 10-round fight, you would see Nate and Nick Diaz champions of the world, right? Yeah. But we're in a five-round sprint. So, of course, a lot of people thought he lost that fight as well. 
But look yeah. at the fight before when he parsed himself out. He thought it was sweet. He gasped. And then they barely wrapped his neck or hand around his neck and he was tapping out. Same thing yeah. with Conor, same thing in other situations. So first let's get to the point that the fight can't even happen, right? It can't sure. happen unless Daddy Dana approves it. And I can't see Daddy Dana approving KSI or Jake for the simple fact he doesn't want them to look like they're on his level. He doesn't want them to look like they're branded because you're going to have to bring a misfit and you're going to have to bring an MVP involved with the promotion, right? So Dana is not going to want to do that. The Logan Paul situation is different. Logan technically has a maverick promotion that he really doesn't utilize a lot, right? And, and, and he is a sponsor of the UFC, Prime Drink. And Logan is now wrestling for WWE, which is part of the TKO UFC WWE. Well, I feel like you get I feel like you setting up a fight that they didn't set up themselves. So <laughs> you once again giving out free lunches. I thought we said this year, no more free consulting, no more free lunches. You just set the whole fucking play up for him. And y'all better pay my dog out when it come down to it. Hey, I just here to help. Hey man, fuck that. We helping us. Let them help them. Let's go big. Let's go big. Let's go big. Let's go big. I got, ooh, hop in a car with no roof.